Acetone is a manufactured chemical that can also be found naturally in the environment. It is a colorless liquid that evaporates easily, dissolves in water, and is flammable. Acetone is used as a solvent to dissolve other substances such as paints, varnishes, lacquers, fats, oils, waxes, resins, printing inks, plastics, and glues. It is used to make plastics, fibers, drugs, rayon, photographic film, smokeless powder, and other chemicals. It is also used for cleaning and drying precision parts. People can be exposed to acetone by breathing it, ingesting it, or absorbing it through the skin. It is present in vehicle exhaust, tobacco smoke, and many landfill sites. In fact, it has been found in over a third of the national priority list sites identified by the EPA. People living near a landfill site that contains acetone, near busy roads, or by other facilities such as incinerators that release acetone emissions could be at risk of exposure. Exposure can also occur in smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke. In the home, people can be exposed to acetone by using nail polish remover, household cleaners, paints, adhesives, rubber cement, particle board, or other products that contain the chemical. Drinking water or eating food containing acetone is another exposure route. In the work environment, workers can be exposed to it if they are employed at a facility that manufactures paints, plastics, chemicals, artificial fibers, and even shoes. Employees can also be exposed if they work with solvents, paints, glues, and commercial cleaning products. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, exposure to high levels of acetone can cause death, coma, unconsciousness, seizures, and respiratory distress. It can also damage a person's kidneys, skin, and eyes. Breathing moderate to high levels for short periods of time can cause nose, throat, lung, and eye irritation. It can also cause intoxication, headaches, fatigue, stupor, lightheadedness, dizziness, confusion, increased pulse rate, nausea, vomiting, and other conditions. These are just a few things to know about acetone and potential exposure concerns at home or in the work environment. To learn more about this or other environmental, indoor air quality, occupational, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.